seen things group people wouldn't believe. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today will be a Best Buy walkthrough video. We are here next to a Geek Squad truck at Best Buy. We do these every few weeks and I am geared up and ready to go into the store. I figured I'd show you how I roll in the store without the sunglasses. Um, we used to do these walkthroughs every few weeks last year. Typically just checking the prices to see what the variation would be and what would be the best pick for you guys. So we're at my local Best Buy and the reason we haven't done one is for obvious reasons but because there hasn't been much inventory in the stores there hasn't been much in terms of price difference either but the last time we were in here was last month for the Samsung 8K there was really nothing else new other the 900H was here the 950H was not here and I want to see what we have in regards to Hisense, TCL, and if we have any other new models. But typically we go in and out, check the prices for you guys. We were doing these every few weeks before the world got completely turned upside down. And I um, want to do a quick one for you guys. I'm hobbling around a little bit, suffered a little bit of an injury. So I will hobble into the store incognito with the glasses and the mask. Be as creepy as possible in these stores as I sneak around. Also want to keep um, a little bit of an eye on physical media. I was in a Target the other day and shot a video and there was very few, actually if any, 4K Blu-rays. So um, I also stopped at a Walmart and I will see what's in here. It was alarming how little of physical media is left and we'll do a totally separate video on that. But for right now, I just wanted to say hello. Hope you guys are all doing well. Let's walk into the store and see what is there. All right, guys, I am recording the audio a little bit later in the evening. We're looking at the AK 900 TS from Samsung, 65 inches for a 75 inch, nine grand for an 85 inch, and 4,500 for the 65 inch. AK Samsungs are very impressive. It is still just very hard to justify 8K. Um, we'll go into more of that. Um, I really do feel like you have to make sure blooming and things like that are completely gone on LEDs before we jump to 8K. So I was one of the people that was very disappointed in 8K coming out. Here we're looking at a Sony 900H. I believe this is at 75 inches. The Magnolia in this Best Buy is a little bit of a mess. Right above that is actually a 65 inch 950G, strangely enough as I wasn't able to locate the 950H until later in the video outside of Magnolia, which is interesting. So the lineup in the store is a little bit all over the place. Going through the prices really quick, you'll see those better than I can, but it's $19.99, $8.99, $11.99, $24.99. That's for the 900H. You'll see an 85 inch on the floor. Then here's the prices of the 950G at $26.59, 55 inches, $1,000, dollars uh, 75 is, wow, it's on sale. I wonder if that's probably an open box. That is an open box, I believe. Wow, that's below $2,000. That's insane. It's amazing how close a lot of them look with the demos. Um, the 900H actually looks pretty impressive in store. But then again, that is all full screen demos. Then here we're looking at the OLEDs. I'm sorry, this is the Sony A9G. That used to say Value Electronics shootout. A9G has actually finally come down in price at 77 inches. Actually, that is not, yeah, that's a 65 inch at $32.99. The 77 inch is behind me at four grand and at 55 is 22.99 keep in mind the a9g is the master series oled the aah does not have a 75 inch version which is right there that is the aah i'll be zooming in on the prices it takes me a while to actually hit the prices for the aah aah does have some subtle improvements over the a9g black frame insertion does have some better shadow detail as well Prices will take me a second to zoom in as there's light is everywhere. 
anytime now. But the AAH is amazing. I just wish they had a 77 inch version. Um, that would be helpful. There we go. $14.99 for the 55 inch and $22.99 for the 65 inch. And obviously we know the 48 inch is also releasing as of today. There's the A9G, 88H. And I will tell you that OLEDs for me, OLEDs are OLEDs. They look very similar, whether it's the 88G, you know, you can throw as many numbers as you want around. Sony OLEDs to me look very similar. LG OLEDs to me look very similar. Here is the A9G at 77 inches, which I tell you is unreal at 77 inches. Such a sleek design. Still one of the best panels you can possibly get at 30, at, you know, four grand. It's still, I mean, these TVs were absurdly expensive last year, but the Sony A9G is just still stunning. I would still take one now. And here's a couple pictures of the A8H, which was, I think, 55 inches. We're going to hop all over the place here, obviously. Am I showing you there? Okay, here we go to some Samsungs real quick. That is the Q90T on top. And that is the AK below it. We'll get back into showing you the prices. They actually look really, really nice. I think the Q90T has a very impressive black level, um, which, you know, the Q90 got kind of beat up for being a step back from the Q90R. So, yeah, it's the Q900TS 8K below. And there's the Q90T. You'll see it out on the main floor as well. I was mentioning the Q90T... Um, was beat up by many of us for having similar specs to the Q80R from last year, but it is an impressive display. If you want a 4K panel, the Q90T is definitely the one to get. While it may have less specs, in some ways, I think the overall algorithm and picture quality might even be um, a little bit better in terms of light control. AK has the best, uh, or I should say Samsung has the best demos. But there is the difference with Samsung controlling their blooming versus Sony. Sony allows more shadow detail, has a bit more blooming. Samsung tends to crush the blacks a little bit and tends to mute the white. Here is the Samsung frame display. If it's something that you're really, really interested in, I am not. Um, they're extremely thick. And you've seen reviews on them from ratings.com and some others. They're not exactly the best looking panels. As far as what they offer, they're very, very thick. They look better with the custom frames. You'll actually see a custom frame in the video that is on the actual display. Right, well, maybe not. Yep, right there. You can choose them to make them look more artistic. Um, you also have to pay a subscription, from what I believe, with Samsung. You might get a free year or something, but they're just there. I thought that'd be interesting to show you guys. There's very little in the store to really show you. They look, remind me of more of like hotel TVs that you'd see, like more displays. We're going to go back out into the main room now and take a look at the Q80. I believe this is the Q60, actually. Yeah, the Q60T, which is um, beside a Q90, I believe. Yep, another Q92. Really haphazard display in this store as far as the displays they have next to each other. I believe next to it is another 8K display. Go over the prices really quick for the Q60. The challenge that many of us have with the QLED uh, Samsungs is they tend to be numerically a step back from the year before. Meaning like the Q90 is more like a Q80 from last year. They did that last year too. And it's very hard to keep track of. There's the Q800T, which isn't the one in the middle. The Q900 would be the one in the middle that's not even on right now. And they have the, again, they have separate prices. There's the Q80. I'll step back so you can see. And the Q80 actually looks pretty good too. Really love the Q8FN, the Q9FN. And then the Q80R and Q90R. This year, though, with Samsung jumping to 8K, it just felt like they were leaving 4K behind. And uh, it's a shame. Still great TVs, though. All depends on what you're looking for. Here we are with the CX. I'm going to show you the 77-inch. The demo right now is a movie, so I can't show you that. 
It's ridiculous that the 77CX is $37.99. The C9 from last year never got that low. We're still pretty early in the year to see the prices drop that low. This is the GX here, um, which the GX is uh, very elegant in terms of its design and its wall mounting. I personally wouldn't pay for the extra money for, um, for that. They're basically the same display, a couple differences. And then there's CX again, just giving you different tickets instead of having them all in the same. But LG, again, very, very um, impressive as always. I'm going to pan over to their nano cell here, which um, I am going to see the one at Value Electronics, which is most current. What's confusing about nanos is they have the this year's right next to a bunch of used ones that are littered all over the store. So unless you know a lot about the exact numbers, it's hard to know which ones are new. And uh, they look fine. I've never been super impressed with the nano cells. But I will go over them at Value Electronics and get a better look at, you know, get my hands on the remote. Now we're jumping back over to Sony. This is the AH again. And there's a gigantic 900H, which, you know, again, took the place of the 800 series, which I got crucified for because I called them IPS panels when the VA panel was actually 85 inches. But at least these displays have a local dimming feature, and you really can't go wrong at that size for full array at that price. And over here, you're going to see a 950H, which I believe is below. Yeah, it's the one below it. There's 900H is above. 950H is actually below it. But interesting, a 950H was not in Magnolia. A 950G was. So again, very confusing how they have the lineups. But they both look very good. And things get a little more disappointing from here. Vizio really has no imprint at all in Best Buy. This is the Quantum M series and the Quantum P series. Not even the X variants. I believe these are also last year's models. So I'll go over them really fast. Boom, boom. That's it. You have to find them probably at Costco, but really no presence. And Hisense as well. Um, never had the H9G in store. And now they have this model here, which is the H6570G. You know, so we're looking more for their higher end. You know, I'm going back over here. Nothing from TCL. And um, we're just showing you again the two demos of the 4K versus the 8K Samsung and the OLEDs. I'm going to wrap things up here in my goodbye part of the video. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys, just got out of the store and it was uneventful. Um, shot pretty much the same four or five TVs. Um, in a row um, more disturbed by the lack of blu-rays or I should say 4k blu-rays or blu-rays in general inventory is completely wiped out there's nothing on the shelves now granted it is a different time in regards to what's happening in our world so as chances are that's probably why but I was in there looking for pitch black and a couple other films and every time I do a video on Best Buy I typically buy one or two movies when I'm in there and I could find nothing that I wanted to buy uh, the shelves are dominated by Disney um, in every section. A lot of obscure movies next to new movies. Everything's kind of mixed up. But as far as the TVs, um, Sony, Samsung, LG, some older Nanos. Hard to tell what's what. The way they have everything mixed about. Same with pricing. But um, nothing from Vizio. Nothing from TCL and very little from Hisense. So, you know, again, this is a smaller Best Buy. It does have a Magnolia section, which is what you saw me in. So there isn't a lot to report. I'll, you know, redo the voiceover while I'm in the store. I have to do that for copyright as there is music playing, but pretty uneventful, kind of a boring video. It was nice seeing the Q90T go against the 800, or I should say the 8K version. So we'll talk about that, but Kind of boring, not a lot to report, um, but again, very disturbing the amount of or lack of physical media. 
you know, Best Buy, Target, and even Walmart for years were my go-to pop in, grab a movie. Even something like Pitch Black, which isn't a huge release, it was something I could usually track down at least at Best Buy, and there was very little there. So uh, we'll do that in a totally separate video, but definitely, um, I don't know, it's random, but that's me in closing. Hope everybody is doing well. My new display should be in tonight or tomorrow afternoon, and then we'll have our collection at home, which is the Sony 950H, the LG CX, the TCL 6 Series, and then this new display, and that's probably the only displays I'll have for a while. We'll continue to test them and do content in between. I hope all is well with you guys. I will see you in the comments. Take care.